Yeah, you're in like a short chair again. Yeah, well, it's just my chair. I can't help it. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Anybody there? Hello? Are we sure we're on? Yes, maybe. Hello? Yes, Five. we are. Okay. Good morning. Um, we are not watchers of Dancing with the Stars, but it's all over the internet today, you guys. Sean Spicer dancing on Dancing with the Stars um, in his fluorescent highlighter yellow. It was green. Green. Mm -hmm. Roughly it was, um, shirt. It was fabulous. It was a fabulous shirt. <laughs> he was shirt. so cute. Like, he yeah. was so happy. Mm -hmm. And smiley, yeah, and dancy. You know, he was okay dancing. I feel like she did most of the work. Yeah, I think they all do, right? Yeah, the dancers actually do most of the work, and then the people who learn to dance, they just try to keep up. Yeah. That's all they can do. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I thought he did a fine job from what I've seen on the recaps, and um, he didn't do very well in the judging. He got second to last, and yeah. I don't know what that means. Like, if he's, I don't know what that means. I guess he gets another shot at it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because Lamar Odom did worse than he did. Yeah. So, I guess he'll, he'll have another week. Is that how that works? I, does America I don't, vote? I don't even know. I wish that America voted, because <laughs> I feel like, and I don't, because I don't watch the show, but I kind of feel like it's the judges that vote, and if it's just the judges, he's going to lose miserably, because you yeah. know they all hate him, and that makes me sad. Because I like him. And I and you know he's like not... Listen, I'm sure that people aren't outwardly mean to him. But you know there's like this probably underlying angst. And they're probably not extremely overwhelmingly nice to him on the yeah. set. Which makes me very sad for him. And he's just enjoying himself. <laughs> he's just like, whatever, I'm and here. And he knows how ridiculous it is. Yeah. I mean, like, if you look at his tweets, he knows. He's yeah. like, oh, you guys, wait until you see what I have to wear tonight. Right. You know what I mean? And you like, know they, knows. they put him in that puffy neon green <laughs> shirt on purpose. You know they did that. You know oh they try to make him look as flamboyant as possible. <laughs> So he'd be just the subject of memes and gifts everywhere. Oh my God, there's already so many gifts. Uh -huh. So many. Yeah. Um, anyway, so that happened. If you haven't seen the today? recap, then by all means. Yeah, we're early. Sorry. Go and look at it because it's posted everywhere. <clears throat> so you should totally check that out. Um, also, Sarah Silverman. Sarah Silverman uh, tweeted about Greta Thunberg do you guys yesterday. Know, do you know who Greta Thunberg <clears throat> is, you guys? She's the... She is the child who um, is the climate change activist. She's what, like 15, 15 16? 15 or 16, I forget. Yeah, and she travels around the world by yacht. <laughs> Eco-friendly yacht. Right, because she doesn't want to contribute to the... Doesn't go to school anymore. She just wants to fight the weather. So she encourages people to staple money to the weather <laughs> um, if they can't actually fight the weather. This is what it's so funny because she's hailed by all of these climate change activists as some sort of genius on the climate mm -hmm. when really she's just spouting off general talking points yeah. and they make it sound as though she's saying something truly unique and remarkable everything and it's then. not all the stuff that Al Gore said yeah you know and Al Gore is now living in a non-eco-friendly mansion somewhere yeah, and just it's... Just laughing maniacally at all the morons who were like, he's so smart. He said the world was going to end like 10 years ago, and it did And we're it. still... We're still here. here. And so are the coast, yeah. coastal cities. Everybody's mm -hmm. fine. Like, everybody's... Anyway, Sarah Silverman tweeted out a photo of Greta Thunberg and said, You think you'll recognize Jesus when he comes back? He is this girl, and y'all don't even see it. Yeah. So she's Jesus now. Mm -hmm. And then she said the irony... Of it being most lost on the evangelicals who preach Noah and the Ark are so totally blind to it all happening right in front of their eyes. I mean, she really means she it. She really you thinks guys. that she really thinks that this chick is Jesus. <laughs> Greta Thunberg. Okay. Greta Thunberg is Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is where this is where we are. Yeah. Um, so also, that's, that's happening. So some interesting people spoke out yesterday about the Kavanaugh stuff. Um, Morning Joe was actually saying things like, I can't believe the New York Times ran that piece the way it was. Um, I did hear on the news this morning that the two writers of the book on which that article was based 
are now trying to clear their name. And they're saying, well, we, in our article, in our summary of it, we included all the information that the New York Times um, final copy editors didn't include. They're like, we totally included it. Are they trying but to the, yeah, make they, sure they don't get sued? Well, they're saying it was the editors that made the decisions to take out those very key yeah. pieces of information God, that I they hope left they get, out. I hope they get sued so hard. I hope they, God, somebody needs to get sued for this. Yeah. And here's the thing. Yesterday, I was when I was at home, I was kind of watching coverage on this. Um, of course, I was watching a little bit of Fox, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to turn to CNN and MSNBC and see how they're covering all of this bull crap. <laughs> and so I turned to him. And um, speaking of bull crap, here's Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob. Hey. Hi, Rob. How are you? What's up? Hey. We're talking about Kavanaugh and his giant penis and how, it, and how it landed into the hands how it's so large that it landed in the hands of... <laughs> so I was thinking about this last week. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. I was going to make a point. Hold on. Let me just make a point before I forget it because I have an okay. early onset dementia, of course, because right. I'm way older than you. But um, yeah. but I was watching MSNBC and CNN, and, one, and I swear to y'all, on MSNBC, they had on the ticker, it was like new allegations against Kavanaugh. That's how they were spinning this. It's, <laughs> I was like, what? What's even happening? This is what they're doing. They're saying that there are new allegations against him, and this is what they're talking about. I I cannot with these people. And no one's apologized. Nope. No one's apo no, no one said, "Oh, I overreacted to that news. I should have." By no one, you mean the people running for president? Yeah, they're all yeah. like, "Yes, he should still be impeached." Based on what? Yeah. There's literally no new information on which to impeach him, and even if it was accurate, yeah. which it isn't, and I. I saw, it's not a big deal. And I saw Trey Gowdy yesterday, who he made a great point. He's like, you know, impeachment is the equivalent of the death sentence when it comes to being a president. It's the equivalent. So you have all these people who are running for president who are willing to say without any evidence, without any due process, without anything, just based on a New York Times article, which is they've shown over the past month, they've had to retract two other things. They suck so hard. And these people running for president are willing to go, yeah, let's go ahead and impeach him. Let's impeach him. And they're willing to do that. They're willing, and these people are running for president. And there are people out there who are like, oh, yeah, sure, I'm going to vote for Elizabeth Warren. And I'm going to vote for Beto. Lord. <laughs> Can we get back to the mechanics of the handy? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, so if you missed it yesterday, yeah. we, we were having trouble just trying to visualize the alleged incident that took place at this party back in the day. Yes, because I asked the question. I, I, I don't understand the logistics. I mean, it, the whole thing is absurd. If you, if you look at the logistics of it, it doesn't make any sense. Because the friends apparently... The friends took, took his junk, his, his junk, and put it into and pushed a, it into the hands of a woman, a, allegedly, which allegedly. obviously did not happen because this is logistically impossible unless he has the biggest junk <laughs> ever, and they could stretch it like a fire hose to a woman and put it into her hands. It didn't happen, you guys. <laughs> this is so absurd. So you have a theory? What's your theory? Well, no, I mean, I just, it just, I mean, I, the, I've been thinking about it all night last night. Like, uh. I was up until 1 a.m. thinking about the mechanics of how oh the wiener would end up in the hand. Because, look, you guys have, I'm going to just make an assumption here because you're both married. <laughs> you have extended a hand towards a male unit yeah. at some point in your life. Uh -huh. You yeah. have to extend the hand, receive the unit. Yes. So I'm just, I just, I mean, I thought about, I tried to think about, because, you know, I want to believe all women. And I mean, in this case, I want to believe all men who are mm -hmm. accusing yeah. a woman of doing something that she doesn't remember. Mm -hmm. But I just couldn't get my head around how the wiener could have ended up in the hand without an extension of a hand wanting the wiener and then grabbing the wiener in question. Yeah, well, exactly. wait, I don't think that there was grabbing. There though. was no grabbing. Was they no just grabbing. placed the wiener it into just, her hand. Okay, so that makes the dudes gay. If you touch another man's wiener... Well, and we and had you, that discussion yesterday. You talked about this yesterday on the show about how you, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't right. Do you that. wouldn't do that. This is not crossing swords during a sexual act. This is you're <laughs> grabbing the wiener and extending it to to the woman. Right. For no, for, and you're getting no pleasure out of it. So, th that right. no. Dudes would not do that. You would not willingly grab a wiener. No, well, yeah, dudes would not willingly grab another dude's wiener. Just to put it in a woman's hand. Yeah. And apparently, I, I mean, it's possible that the woman was just, like, drunk and passed out. 
And because I think I saw one account where Brett Kavanaugh exposed himself first. So like pants were down and then he was maneuvered. Oh, you know so what I he, mean? So he was doing a helicopter. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What is a helicopter? I don't know what that if, means. If you take your pants down and you're just waving your wiener oh, around. Oh, you're like in, waving in a motion, in a You know, it's a, you were doing a helicopter. But then still. Okay, he, so Carmen says that Rob is correct on the wiener point. Well, no that, the people are saying that you're correct on this whole wiener point. See, when it comes to porn or... or <laughs> when it comes to porn or wieners, usually Rob is we, right. This is why we've we got have, a resident this expert. This is why Rob is our producer. <laughs> it has nothing to do with technical skills or working the board or doing audio because he really sucks at that. I, su I actually do suck at he my job. He sucks at that. The only reason we have Rob as our producer is to, to handle such things as... Wiener data and logistics and, and so logistics when it comes to helicopter. What it's a helicopter, a you're, helicopter. You're moving your so the question then becomes mm -hmm. he would have had to have his the, pants the man knows his wiener facts, yeah, it, exactly. Joy, I've had a lot of good experiences mm -hmm. with my own, I mean, uh, so <laughs> by the, himself. Yeah, the question, <laughs> like, the question becomes so then if he had his pants down, many people would have seen this, and so how was it not reported? Because it was probably just not a big deal. It didn't or happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen at all. This or didn't this happen. is just what happened at ridiculous drunken college parties. Or it didn't happen at all. It didn't happen. I've been to so many frat parties. This doesn't happen. <laughs> People don't helicopter their penis and put it into women's hands. Well, to be fair, this is Ivy League. Maybe it's different That's there. true. I went to a state school. <laughs> yeah. It may be different at I, an Ivy League college. That's I never true. once saw somebody pull their pants down in public at a frat party. I, I don't remember people doing that either. This is the thing. It just didn't it didn't happen. But you're right. I mean, it could be different at an Ivy League school because you pay a lot more there. So you may get a lot more. I don't I don't know. My if work here any is done. Ivy Leaguers would like to weigh in. If you want to weigh in on that. <laughs> On yeah. how things went down at your college parties. Okay, I'm glad that we untangled that once again. <laughs> You're welcome. On our live. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> Appreciate that for the wiener facts. <laughs> anyway, it's still a thing, uh, but Jerry Nadler is saying he's not going to pursue impeachment oh. of Brett Kavanaugh because he's very, very, very busy right now mm. pursuing impeachment of Donald Trump. And also <laughs> looking completely joyless. Because <laughs> Nadler looks completely sucked of joy. Well, and, like, have it you was... seen his shape? Yeah. I'm just saying, if you've seen a full body she's, photo, I'm not body shaming. She's totally body shaming. I am body shaming. Her name if is you, Mock. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know that. If you have seen yeah. a full body photograph mm -hmm. of this man, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, what you see does not fit any human shape. It's yeah. not normal. <laughs> Jim, has, Jim thanked us for the aviation class. <laughs> Listen, we like to educate and info. Yeah, you're, here. you're welcome. It's so early. I can't believe we said penis that many times and wiener that many well, times. Well, because Rob came in and before that's just eight o'clock. God, I'm so sorry, you guys. Yeah, it's really, really early for that kind of. Really sorry, but this is, this is all dumb. And I hope that he sues. That's the thing. He won't sue. Why? Why just wants this to go away? Well, it's like Rob said yesterday. If he sued, his whole life would be under microscope again even more, and they would be able to, you know, through discovery, ask for, like, any number of pieces of information. Okay, well then, at the very least, I hope the American people are watching this and going, this is so ridiculous. They're trying to smear this man again a year later. Yeah. We're going through all this crap again, and what is going on with the Democrats? Are they all just mental? Like, what is wrong with them? They have such severe TDS that they're willing to go to these lengths to try to ruin Kavanaugh? I mean, what is what is wrong with these people? It's out of control. Do they love abortion this much? They want to kill babies this much that they're willing to do this. I mean, what? Well, a lot of people were speculating on Twitter yesterday that RBG must be doing really, really poorly, and that's the only reason that people are like, "Oh my God, we gotta like even the playing field or something." I mean, this and this is their way of because honestly, it. that's what this comes down to. It comes down to their love, their thirst for abortion. Yeah, and that's what this is all about. That's the whole reason that they didn't want Kavanaugh. And this is why Christine Blasey Ford came around. Is because, I mean, her lawyer, she said it. She yeah. admitted to that last week, is that this is all about abortion. Think about that for a second. I mean, how, how messed up do you have to be to go through these lengths and go to these lengths to try to bring somebody down because you have such a thirst for abortion? Gross. That's, yeah, that's really icky. Yeah, it's really icky. Like... Check your heart, man. <laughs>
Wow, that is just sick and twisted. That's when we know that we've got such a problem right here. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't, but but the wow, there's something wrong, something seriously wrong with some people in our country. You guys were under a, another 14 day suspension by Facebook. Um, I, I I think we should just because they keep notifying of this, you know, they keep telling us, oh, you've got a new 14 day suspension. I, I don't know why we just don't stay suspended. I don't notice any difference between our reach when we're suspended and not suspended. So, it, but anyway, if you're not seeing our posts, that's why it's because they're, they're algorithming us, algorithming us into oblivion once again. And um, we're so. also seeing some suppression on Instagram. Which is new. I'm starting to see that. That's new. I've never seen that before. I've never, because um, I handle our Instagram, she handles our Twitter. One thing that I've never done is I've never tried to seek out that blue check mark on Instagram because I've tried to stay under the radar. <laughs> so, <laughs> but one thing that I've noticed over the past two weeks is that our reach is kind of, it's, it's starting to become a little bit lower. And so I, I don't really, I know that people are seeing our stuff, but I've just noticed that our likes and stuff are down and our reach is a little bit down. So, I don't know if it's um I'm just I'm very we're both very hyper aware of that stuff because yeah. of, of of our experiences with social media over the past two years. So I'm just starting to become a little bit aware of that. So anyway, just make sure that you're seeing all of our stuff on Instagram too, because it's starting to become a yeah. little bit weird. And we're getting closer, like she said to me this morning. She's like, "Well, we're getting close to an election, so they're it's starting just gonna to get worse and worse. It's gonna get worse. I yeah. mean, I can only imagine how bad it's gonna get. You know, next year in the year 2020, yeah. it's gonna be out of control. Yeah, and this really is, bad. This is what they do, and you can help us by going directly to our website. Yeah, because people ask us, "What can we do? What can we do?" Just go directly. Just bypass Instagram. By I mean, I hate it. I mean, listen, we love it when you guys go out there and engage social media, obviously, but. But, um, you know, and obviously come here and do all the things, but also go directly to our website. Yeah, if one, you can make it your homepage, yeah. that helps because then you just remember, oh, look, there's new content yeah. on the chicks on the right at side. Least, at least once a day, go directly to our website, bypass all the social media channels, and just go directly to chicksontheright.com and check all the stuff out and just, you know, look at the stuff and see what's out there because there's, you know, new content out there and whatever. And that's, that's what we haven't had people do over the past two years, and that's why... Um, we've been riding the struggle bus so yeah <laughs> which uh reminds us if you are interested in writing uh for the chicks on the right we are looking for interns at the moment and so you can send in information application resume writing samples etc to chicks on the right rule at gmail.com if you know anybody uh that would like to do that kind of thing so yes. we've gotten some folks are responding and we are looking through um the responses that we've received so far but keep them coming if you would please and also today's tuesday which means we're going to be recording another episode of the mock and daisy common sense cast right after our regular radio show today yeah. as rob would say it's tuesday tuesday it's tuesday <laughs> today all right you guys have a great day bring it in group hug group hug you guys have a great tuesday we'll talk to you tomorrow bye, bye.